Everybody loves the idea, but the reality is face masks have become a daily accessory for everyone. Scientists agree that they're the single most effective protection against the coronavirus right now. But as CBS 12's Lena Salzbank discovered, scientists also agree they can have a drawback. I'm going to hand this over. You can see there's a lot of makeup on here. Probably not a great idea when I'm handing this over to see how much fungus and bacteria is on here. But tell me what happens first after I hand this over to you and put on a fresh mask. So what I'll do right away is I'll swab this and we'll look for growth of fungus, yeast, and bacteria on here. On this Professor Patrick Grant from Florida Atlantic oh. University oh, is a okay. microbiologist. Sarah, he swabbed the surface of the face mask I wore all weekend okay. and then spread time. it around a couple of Petri dishes. Oh. Then within probably about 24 hours, 48 hours after this, we'll look at the growth on these plates. This isn't about coronavirus, but showing how ordinary daily use can contaminate these fabric and paper things we've all started wearing over our nose and mouth. It's very common that we'll eat and put our mask back on. If we're sweating a little bit, we're creating a really nice soup for these kind of microorganisms. So I'm back here three days later to see the results. How dirty was my mask? Give me the truth. Okay, so I think you can see from here there's... Uh, Plenty of stuff growing. Video from under a microscope shows a range of microorganisms, including a variety of different bacteria, yeast, and plenty of fungus. Um, I would be slightly concerned. Dr. Grant tells CBS 12 News most of the gunk in our masks won't hurt you unless you let it build up. But he adds borrowing somebody else's mask is just a bad idea. Kids were mixing up their masks and, and they're piling up and it's like, whose mask is this? Um, people don't really want to share them. The best advice is to keep your mask clean. He actually invented an ultraviolet sanitizing device that'll kill pretty much anything in a minute or two. But for most of us, just throwing it in the wash every couple of days will do the trick. In Boca Raton, Lena Salzbank, CBS 12 News.